Today we'll be making waffle iron corn fritters. Here are the ingredients that you'll need. Start off by pulsing half of your corn kernels in a food processor until you get coarse grains. This is about the consistency that we're looking for. Transfer the corn to a bowl and then set it aside. To a large pan, add one tablespoon of olive oil. Then add in your whole corn kernels. We'll be cooking this on medium heat with a pinch of salt, stirring constantly to avoid any burning. Once you're happy with the color, go ahead and transfer to a separate bowl. In that same pan, add in your pulsed corn. Stir constantly and cook until the mixture starts to stick to your spatula. Transfer this to the same bowl as the whole corn kernels. Stir that together. Next, we'll be adding our flour. Make sure you get every last bit. Dried chives, cornstarch, grated Parmesan cheese, baking powder, cayenne, black pepper, and salt into the bowl and stir to bring the ingredients together. To help the dough bind, we're adding in an egg. I always pack it in a separate bowl just in case you get a bad egg or any shells fall in. It's just easier to fish out. If you're vegan, you can also replace this with a flax egg. Mix everything together. There's no special technique here. Just make sure you stir until you no longer see streaks of flour and all of the ingredients are distributed in the batter. This is about the consistency that we're looking for. We'll be using a waffle maker today to help us avoid defrying our food. As your waffle iron is preheating, lightly brush the grills with some olive oil. Once you get the green light, go ahead and add about two tablespoons of the corn fritter batter into each quadrant. You can also use a small ice cream scoop for quickness and ease, just as I'm doing here. Cook according to your desired golden color. Transfer to a wire rack to cool or a plate. And there you have it, individual corn fritters for your next picnic. For more recipes like this, make sure you hit that like and follow button. Enjoy!